Hey everyone, what's up? Marty from Down the Rabbit Hole here. I'm in Edmonton again this weekend for my husband's CPA grad ceremony. We're staying at the Weston Hotel in downtown Edmonton and I thought today is the perfect chance to talk to you about things that I like to take from my hotel rooms. Our hotel room here at the Westin is pretty nice. We've got a single suite with a giant king bed. The room has a great view of downtown Edmonton, even though right now it's kind of cold, kind of dirty, kind of yucky. Still has a great view of all the big tall buildings and I get to watch the cars going by. I'm a big people watcher. Part of the fun of staying in a hotel are all the little freebies that you get to take home with you when your stay is over. I usually just take the typical things that everyone else would take. Things like shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, sometimes they give you mouthwash, bar soap. There's lots of fun stuff that you can take from your hotel room without getting in trouble. But what are some of the stranger things that you can take from a hotel room without getting in trouble? I'll show you some of the other things that I like to take when I stay in a hotel. One of the first things to get packed away, if we haven't used them during our stay already, are the free coffee servings. I also like to take the tea. Bottled water can be pricey, so I never miss a chance to take the free water bottles in my room. Of course I'll take the paper and pen, if my daughter hasn't written all over the paper pad. Can't ever have enough pens in your purse. Naturally, a free TV is hard to resist even if it is awkward to fit in your suitcase. Just kidding. I'm a bit of a cheapskate, so when we're at home, I, I don't buy the best toilet paper brand. Single ply, no name brand toilet paper. That's the best my family deserves. So when I come to the hotel, I like to take their toilet paper. And once again, my poor family gets the best of the best. When they have runny noses, they actually get to wipe their noses with that single ply toilet paper. So, when I come to hotels, I like to nab their Kleenexes. Hair dryers are a no-no. They stay here. Hmm, this sewing kit could really come in handy. Except I don't know how to sew at all. Still, it's free. If you're really desperate for the basics in your household, it doesn't always hurt to help yourself to some light bulbs. Although it seems like the coffee maker might easily fit into your suitcase, I don't recommend taking it. Don't steal their towels either. That's frowned upon. So those are most of the things that I like to take from my hotel room when I stay. What are some of the things you like to take when you go to hotel rooms? And please, if you let me know in the comments, make sure they're ones that you wouldn't get arrested for. On a side note, I really want to thank everybody who has supported me with this travel channel. Thank you to everyone who voted for me to go to Kerala. Even though I didn't win, your votes were very much appreciated. And to everyone who has subscribed to me on this YouTube channel, I'm almost at 400. My goal is a thousand. I would love to get reinstated back into the YouTube Partner Program. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me so far. Your support means everything to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please find it in your heart to do so, and I would be eternally grateful. Remember to comment below if there's something unusual, but legal, that you take from hotel rooms. Give this video a like if it entertained you, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy travels, everyone.